thought of some fabulous ideas. Did you know to get married at the top of the Empire State Building is only a fraction of the price? And if you got married at the Eiffel Tower, I mean, none of that price really matters. I mean, we are Chandlers. Oh. Yeah. No, I'm here. How soon can we make that happen? Just let me know. Okay, great. Thank you. <laughs> I mean, if the top of the Empire State Building is too much and you want to stay local, we could always get married at the club. I'm sure once we tell them that it's a Chandler wedding, they'll make it happen. You think so, huh? Oh, absolutely. But first things first, I have to call the newspapers so they put in an announcement. Oh, and I have to call a photographer so they take our picture. And I want to make sure I get this beauty in the shop. Ah, uh, all those people who thought I was washed up after Adam Chandler left me, they can all just kiss my... Uh, no one's gonna be kissing anything until your divorce from my uncle is final. <laughs> now, you're sure that he doesn't know that you're working for me? Great. Keep it that way. I'll show my appreciation with an added bonus on top of your fee. <laughs> I thought you would. Just call me as soon as that deal is sealed. All right. Broadway production. It sounds like you do. No, I I was just brainstorming. I can ditch the whole megawatt wedding thing. We could just fly to Vegas once my divorce is finalized. Oh, I don't know. Eloping might cut down on your guest list by a few hundred at least. You and I are the only people that matter. Crystal, my mother, the owner, is she here? I haven't seen her. Sorry. I'm sorry, I don't mean to be such a mess. I just, um, I just blew the bar exam and all the practice tests and studying and gallons of caffeine to pull all those all nighters. It was just for nothing. You got the results already? I don't have to. I know that I failed. I was so distracted in it, and I just knew that I was taking. I walked out before I even finished it. I told you I'm a complete mess. You're awfully quiet this morning. Who wants to be a lawyer anyway? Me. Really? Yeah. You know, people take those tests two, three, four times. It's not just a test. It's everything. It's my whole life. My marriage, my husband. You know, it's like... It's like the harder I hold on to it, the more it slips away. And living in that house... I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I came here looking for Crystal, and here I am just forcing you to listen to me go on and on. <laughs> Yeah, it's just another embarrassing reminder of what a complete basket case I am. Where are you going? Sit down. Sit down. Excuse me? You can't drive when you're like this. Sit down. Come on. Uh, glass of water or something. Did I miss something? What do you mean? You went from Lady Di going to Buckingham Palace in a horse-drawn carriage to an Elvis impersonator on the Vegas Strip. <laughs> I just I just got a little carried away for a second. A big production is not necessary. You are all that I need. And I want to give you the wedding of your dreams. I don't need it. I just want to make sure you know that you are all that matters. I do. Believe me, I do. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Have you spoken to business affairs today? We were kind of having a private moment here, cuz. Well, next time, move to a private space. Maybe you should be checking up on your wife. She's taking the bar today. And she was pretty freaked out when she left. I'd rather not bother her during her test, so... I actually have something I need to run by you. You know, whatever it is, it can wait, because my fiancé and I are planning a wedding here, so if you don't mind... Whatever you say.
Listen, when I asked you to prove that I was right to have faith in you, I didn't mean give up your wedding dreams. I love you, and I want to give you the world. <laughs> I'm so lucky. I am the lucky one. You are a good guy, Scott Chandler. <laughs> Most people would probably say, too good for me. No, <laughs> no, we've both made our share of mistakes. Yeah, well, I, I think I have you beat in that department. I don't care what you've done. I love you for who you are. You do accept me, don't you? I do, forever and ever. So, when can we make it official? <laughs> well, uh, I talked to the lawyer. And we could fast track the divorce through the courts and have it finalize as early as next week. Great. What day next week? I'm not exactly sure. Okay, well, I just want to make sure that there's an opening at the courthouse so we can get our license in time. Well, it doesn't have to be the same day. Why are you pushing this? I'm not. Yeah, you are. Annie, I told you, you don't have to play games with me. I guess I just... I feel like when you find the person you want to spend the rest of your life with, you should start that life as soon as possible. I really, really want to be with you. And I want to be Mrs. Scott Chandler. And the sooner, the better. I think we're out of napkins. Don't worry, I'm done crying. I'm just angry. About your husband. About myself. I can't believe that I let my mess of a marriage destroy my professional future. You can't let the Chandlers ruin this for you. They've done enough damage already, trust me. I can't deal with them right now. I have to go. Marissa? What the hell did you do to her? Excuse me? My wife. She just ran out of here in tears after talking to you, so you must have said something to upset her. What was it? If your wife is upset, it's probably because she's realizing that she's married to a first-class jerk just like his father. 